you say Yes, it's that time again It's Tech Tuesday Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. Last week, we talked about some new goodies at camp uh, where we were running um, our X32, but we were running it with uh, Waves Tracks Live for recording, and we were doing Waves multi rack so that we could add uh, plugins live to what we were doing. One thing that later on in the week I experienced um, that was kind of difficult was how to get that to uh, allow me to do a virtual sound check. Uh, the problem was that when I would go to play audio from Tracks Live, the audio would go directly to the uh, X32 and not pass through multi-rack first, and therefore I could not hear the effect my plugins were having, um, which kind of defeated the purpose of doing the uh, virtual sound check. This week I'm going to show you how to use a program called Jack Audio Connection Kit um, as a means of sending audio from program to program um, so that we can make this work. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can download Jack Audio Connection Kit for free from jackaudio.org. I will put the uh, link in the description. Um, it's uh, for Mac, Windows, Linux, all the things. Uh, we're going to be using it on a Mac today. Uh, so if you're using it on uh, Windows, it may look a little bit different, but the concepts are still going to be the same. Um, so we've already downloaded it. Uh, now I'm going to open it up. Um, it's called Jack Pilot. And we're going to go up here to Preferences. So Jack Pilot to Preferences and set it up. Um, so our driver is going to be Core Audio. You can't change that. Our input and output device are going to both be the X32. And you'll see we've got an X32 connected. It's automatically figured out that it's uh, set to 48K. Um, but we need to set our buffer size, and we're going to set it as high as we can, which I think the max I can do with these programs is 2048. Um, so we are not going to be using this live. This is only for virtual sound check. And you want to have a higher buffer size so that you avoid pops and clicks. Um, you'll get more latency, but that's not going to matter because you're not going to have any live musicians uh, playing to this. It's only for virtual sound check. Uh, we'll leave all these settings alone. Uh, our interface is a 32 by 32, so we want our virtual router to be also 32 by 32. And then finally, we're going to uh, disconnect this auto connect with physical ports because we're going to set up our routing. Hit save, hit start, and it's going to create this virtual interface that we'll see in our other programs. And we'll go ahead and hit routing. Right now, we're only seeing system, which is the X32. Um, so now we're going to go and open up um, Tracks Live. And I've got a session from camp here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and Tracks Live, go to File, Preferences. And then right now it's set to go to the X32. We're going to change that to be Jack Router. Okay, and you can see it's changed our buffer size. All right, okay. Uh, now we're going to go, let's set up a loop here, uh, and open up multi-rack. Load a session here. Okay, we got our session. And then again, we need to set this. We're gonna to go to multi-rack, preferences, change it from the X32 to Jack Router. Okay. Now, if you notice, when I go to hit play on Tracks Live, I've got audio coming out, but in multi-rack, there's no audio coming in. And then I've got the X32, there's no audio coming in. This is just my microphone over here. So we need to go through and set uh, how the audio is going to route. Again, it's going to go from Tracks Live into Multi-Rack and then out to the X32. Um, so let's, uh, while the audio is going, let's take a look at our Jack router. And you can see we now have three options on the other side. System, which is again our X32, Tracks Live, and Multi-Rack. Um, we've got Sins, 
and we've got receiving ports. Um, so like we've talked about in previous videos, you want to imagine your sound is like water flowing through pipes. Uh, so the sound is going to send from one device into the other and so on and so forth. So we want to send from tracks live into multi-rack. Now there's these drop down menus on here where you can select patching. Um, if you want to be really, uh, intense with your patching. I wasted a lot of time when I first got this program because I didn't realize that it would be much easier just to have these two selected and then hit the enter key. And when you do that, it automatically does a one-to-one -one patch from these two devices. And as soon as I did that, you might have noticed that now Multirack is receiving audio on all those ports. And I think the song descended. There we go. Um, so now we're receiving audio through Multirack. Um, but we are not receiving it on the X32 because we need to do the same thing for that. Um, so we're going to go to Jackpilot. Now we're going to send the audio from multi-rack to the X32. And again, hit enter. And you can see we now have audio coming through uh, to our X32. Uh, and just to prove that it's coming from the X32 and not from uh, Tracks Live, I'm going to go into multi-rack. I'm going to turn off these overhead channels here. And you can see they've turned off on channels one and two, the way I have it routed. If I turn them back on, you can see we've got the audio back. Um, so this works really, really well. Uh, I did it the other day. It was great for me testing out, seeing what the, the plugins were doing without hearing the live drum set, the live crowd. I could really kind of go in and, and uh, finesse the sound the way I needed to. Um, but I would not try to use this live. It's just too much stuff that can go wrong. Um, so what I would do is put some sort of note on your console um, before it's time to uh, actually you know, uh, do your service. Make sure you go back through and you change both these programs to be sending and receiving through um, the X32 and not through Jack Router. And again, with uh, Tracks Live, um, I would suggest go through and use your global mute so that you don't have audio coming back through um, two different programs to your uh, X32, or else you're going to have some other issues. Um, so definitely be aware of what settings you're in at all times, um, but don't try and use this live. But for uh, virtual sound check, it works really well, um, and it's, uh, a, it's a free program. So hope that's helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or you can email me directly at techtuesday at ascensionworship.com. Uh, if you need some help setting this up and um, the videos just aren't enough, uh, we do uh, on-site visits as well. You can contact me again through techtuesday at ascensionworship.com, and I'd be happy to give you details on what that would entail. Until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.